First off, I would just like to say I'm only level 3 in-game in Counter-Strike. I have no rank or anything like that. I don't really play this game very often, so that's why I'm so bad. And hey, I'm going to tell you guys a story about uh, my... How could I say? Encounter with illegal substances. Drugs, some may say. Um, specifically, cocaine. Uh, I haven't actually told anyone this except for people who are very, very close to me. Now, for the love of God, I have not told any family members or anything like that of the tale of how this came to happen. And I'm sure they're probably going to see this and they're probably going to go, I can't believe you did this, but whatever. Whatever. It's a story that needs to be told, so I'm going to tell it. So I was actually living at my dad's house at the time. And uh, I worked, you know, I worked pretty standard hours. I didn't get paid very much. But uh, I worked with literally like two people, uh, uh, that was eight, and uh, they were people who were friends of the family and stuff, so yeah, I didn't really, didn't really know them so well. They were, they were nice people, very nice people, but uh, they weren't the kind of people that you would want to hang around with outside of work, you know what I mean? I mean, one of them, well, I'll just be honest, one of them was my granddad, and he's an absolutely stellar, stellar blow. But not the kind of person that you would exactly use as a drinking buddy or whatever. <laughs> so I actually got to a point in that where I didn't really have any friends or anything. It was like a new place. It's always been a new place to me. But like the first time I moved in there, um, people locally seemed to have heard all kinds of negative stories about me from university. And to be honest, I was one of those fedora wearing kids. I was one of those... Uh, classy men. <laughs> it sounds so stupid to say now, but yep, that's what I was. So stories of the uh, the bigoted, fucking fedora-wearing, autistic, whatever you want to call it, just, just I don't know, just all-round bad kind of person. Stories of that had gotten onto this area, so the first time I came here, the people that I'd met through skateboarding, which is how I meet all of my friends, pretty much, um, they all had heard the stories, oh, you're that guy, I know you. you, you couldn't even stay in university for blah blah blah, they, basically they, they thought they uh, knew what was going on with my life and decided to take the piss out of me almost on a daily basis for it. But that was the initial time that I went there, that was like from when I first met my dad, which is a whole other story. Anyways, I had no friends. I'm really not the kind of person to go to the pub to try and meet people. I think it's kind of only going to be a recipe for disaster. And this story actually proves that in my eyes. I mean, one bad experience shouldn't mean you should tar it with your with a brush for the rest of your life. But um, basically what happened was, I did go to the pub one night. I got very, very depressed. I was like, fuck it, I need to socialize with people who aren't directly around me all the time. I mean, family's fair enough, but when there's never anything outside of that, I mean, what, what if you feel like shit? You don't tell the people around you because they just go on about it constantly or they feel bad or whatever. You know, you need an outside person that you can talk to. So I thought, I'm gonna go out and look for some friends today. So I did just that. I ended up at a pub that was playing live music and I thought, I'm just gonna sit here and have a couple of beers and uh, see, see what happens, to be honest. I was there by myself. Very rarely do you see somebody by themselves at a pub. I've never seen anyone by themselves at a pub except for myself and the occasional, you know, old man who sits at the bar and talks to the bartender. Well, I sat in the uh, the booths or wherever you would call them. That you know, the funny, they're like long, um, long couches almost, long wooden couches. And uh, I sat there, and I was sat there, and I didn't talk to anyone for about two hours because there was no one there. It was just me. I was sitting, watching the um, the musician set up because it absolutely fascinates me live music because I love everything about music and making music and stuff and I have never been able to perform for anyone. I've never even been in a band, which sucks. But yeah, I sat there and just watched them and just kept drinking. Then this group of uh, what I can only describe as yuppies, which is an old term, it means uh, young... Oh, I don't know what it means. I think it means young and privileged or something. Young and well-employed kind of thing. Young and paid well. These group of yuppies came and sat next to me and uh, they didn't talk to me for a while either until they randomly did and I was like, oh hi, I'm just here to listen to the music. And they were like, all right, all right, mate, all right, and just basically as alcohol does, the more we drank, the more we started talking to each other. There were these random girls talking to me, which I thought was nice because that's another thing that usually happens to me. Uh, and then these these random guys were like, all right, all right, let's go back, let's go back. And all I can really remember is getting in a taxi to their house and I was like, I've not really got much money on me. I only came out with 20 quid. I wasn't going to be staying out. And they were like, oh, we'll get the taxi for you. We'll get the taxi for you. So I ended up at their house. 
And then we went outside and people started fucking rolling joints and stuff. We went outside and was like, yeah, yeah, I'm alright, I'm alright with that. I mean, I've done that plenty of times before and I was like, that absolutely will help me calm down because of this situation that I've just gotten into. I don't know if I can leave, I don't know if I'm allowed to leave, I don't know if people will be offended if I try to leave. Uh, and then we end up drinking, sat around the table for ages, playing some weird game called Shithead, where I, I don't know how to explain the rules, but it was like cards, but fucking weird. So, it was like one's a burn, three's a... I don't remember, I was absolutely wasted at the time, and it turned out that I was the Shithead in the end. And then after Shithead, somebody came out and said, Hey, do you do coke? I'm like, uh, no, I've never done coke before. It was like, oh cool, we're gonna do a line if you want to try some. I'm like, but, uh, uh... Uh, uh, but, yeah, I have to bear in mind that I was really fucking depressed. <laughs> really, really depressed. And I was like, you know what, fuck it, I might as well just go all in. And I was like, can you can you do me a small line or something? Because I've never done it before, I don't know what to expect. How do you measure out how much is a good line or a small line or whatever? And I did a line of coke. It just put my space to the table. Well, I didn't put my face to the table, there was a fiver rolled up. But, eh, I snorted coke through the fiver. And what happened next was... Surprisingly, I'm quite happy it was underwhelming to be honest, but it was very underwhelming. Uh, I went from being wasted to just feeling like normal, and I was like, is this, am I, am I missing something here? There's got to be a reason people do this, right? I was like, no, I just feel focused. I feel like I'm not drunk anymore. I felt great. <laughs> so then I went home uh, after about half an hour of that, after a half an hour of everyone else was clearly experiencing something else. <laughs> But uh, after about half an hour of that, I went home, and I was like, I did coke today, and I'm never going to do it again. Anyway, yeah, that was my coke story. <laughs> kind of fucked up. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment. It would really help out the channel. And uh, as I said, I apologize for the frame rate issues. My computer is not so good. Uh, not much I can really do about that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.